That's right, Alicia. Cabarrus County Schools had a pretty big jump in COVID cases and quarantines for both staff and students. So now the district joins a growing list of those now requiring masks. A surge in COVID cases and quarantines have the Cabarrus County School Board voting four to three to make students and teachers mask up again, prompting mixed reaction from parents. I think it's a personal decision, but if it, there's an uptick in cases, then um, and they feel like this is what they need to do, it, I'm not mad about it. Masks have been optional in Cabarrus County Schools since right before Halloween, but the recent rise in COVID cases has the school district switching back Wednesday to mandating masks through January 24th. Per the CDC and the government, they're conflicting on those um, guidelines for cloth masks and the kids don't wear them properly anyway. So I think they can have them as an option, but I don't think they should be mandated. Queen City News crunched the latest numbers for you. Right now, Cabarrus County Schools has more than triple the new COVID cases in both students and staff compared with the most recent numbers we have right before winter break. And for quarantines, they almost quadrupled for staff and almost doubled for students since the return from winter break. It's a safe to wear masks. I even always wear masks. Even I go outside and anywhere I go, I wear masks. The mask mandate should cut down on quarantines because state guidance says if a student is a close contact with someone who has COVID and both people were wearing masks, the student doesn't have to quarantine. Now again, the mask mandate for Cabarrus County Schools starts tomorrow and runs through January 24th. And there are some exceptions to that mask mandate, including sports, art performances, and extracurricular activities. I'm live in Cabarrus County, Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.